Hello. In this video, we will talk about how to create dynamic titles for pages and charts in Power BI. So to frame up the uh, issue we're trying to solve is we have um, a simple report here, very simple report. We have a chart. In this chart, we're trending sales um, over time. We have a different way to look at the sales data. We can look at them for current year, prior year, year over year. And what we want to do is want to have a title that changes dynamically uh, given what we've selected uh, in our slicer. So you can see that when I select CY in time measure slicer, the title says CY. If I pick prior year, the title says PY and so forth. So let's talk about the easiest way to do this first. Um, if you don't know how to create calculations in Power BI, you have very uh, limited knowledge of Power BI, uh, and you just want to be able to create the dynamic title, this is what you can do. So the first what you want to do is you want to create a uh, text box. And in a text box, uh, what you want to do is uh, type up the beginning of your title. So in my case, uh, I had trend four, so I'm just going to type up trend four. And uh, a lot of time what I do is I click on this box and I will um, turn off the parameter and I will make it uh, white in color so it's easier to see. And I will um, uh, make it a little bit bigger. So let's say about 20. And I'm going to write adjusted so that it's always next to my dynamic part. So trend four, and now what I want to do is I would like to show CY, PY, year over year, or so forth, depending on what's been selected here. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to the column that's driving that filter. Um, so uh, that column returns a string of some sort. So I'm going to just drag it over here in the canvas. It creates um, a chart, and then I'm just going to convert this chart into a card. And then what I'm going to do is go to the properties and turn off the category. And now you can see that as I pick different things in my slicer, this card changes. And all I have to do is just format it a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is turn off the background. I'm going to make the color of the label white. I'm going to size it uh, the same uh, size as my... Um, as my static portion of the title. So in this case, uh, it's uh, belief number 20 is the font. So I'm gonna go to data label, text size, make it 20. And I'm just gonna size it a little bit like this so that, um, let me move it up a little bit, so that it's aligned a little bit better. And now I have um, my dynamic title. So as you can see, um, uh, that title is changing as I change my time measure. So let's look at the positives for this. The positive is it's very easy to do. Um, and you don't need to have any Power BI knowledge really to do this. Uh, all you do is you just drag the measure into the canvas, you turn it into the card, and then um, uh, that's all you really need to do. The negatives, the drawbacks of this approach is, as you can see, we have to maintain two different boxes together. And uh, what happens, um, you, you see there is some size in fonts and consistencies. Both of them are supposed to be 20, but um, my card seems to be a little bit smaller than the, um, the text box. So I, can, I have to now play with the sizes of the fonts, making sure that all fits. And then just formatting becomes um, a pain. So what I want to do is I want to find a more flexible solution. And the other thing what I want to do is I actually want to, instead of having this title here on the page, which by the way, this is how you create the page title, right? The dynamic page title. What if I just want to do the same thing just for one chart? So I just want this chart to have a dynamic title. So that's what we're going to be looking at next. Okay, so in order to implement our more a uh, sophisticated solution, we'll have to create a Power BI measure. So we're going to right click and say new measure. And uh, we're going to name that measure uh, dynamic 
uh, title. Oops. And uh, uh, the title will be the following. So we're going to say trend for. Um, give it a space and close the parentheses. And then we're going to concatenate using ampersand the current value of the time measure. So the function for that is selected value. And then time measure time calc time measure. So this is the column that we're using for our slicer. And now we have our, our calculation. So dynamic title, the only thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that the format of this measure is text. And why I will show you in a bit. So now let's test this dynamic title, I can grab the dynamic title measure, uh, drag it into the um, into the canvas, turn it into the card, right? So card is what allows us to create our titles. And now you can see that we have our dynamic title. I can delete my old ones, uh, drag this guy over here, make the um, data label just a little bit smaller. Let's make it 35. And let's make uh, the color white. And we'll turn on the background. And here you go. So now we have the dynamic title. Okay, now that we have, um, we have that um, working, we could pick PY, CY, and we can see that the title is changing. The only changes, the only problem with the card is that it's usually center aligned and we currently do not have um, a way to um, align it to the left. So depending on the size of the metric that we have, uh, again, we're gonna have a little bit of an issue controlling where the title appears. So a little trick for that is not to use the card control, but rather use the multi-row card. So let's uh, make it a multi-row card. You can see that now it's aligned to the left, even though it's gotten a little smaller. So now we can go into the, um, into the properties, um, go to card title, make it white. And then the other thing we need to do is um, turn off the bar. And uh, now we can make the title a little bit bigger. I believe we were somewhere around 35 points. Um, and now we have a left aligned title. And then again, we could click on PY, CY, and uh, this will just keep growing to the right if uh, our measures are a little bit longer. And now let's talk about how to add a dynamic title to the chart itself. So I'm going to delete this card here. And I'm going to try to add a title to the chart itself. Turns out uh, in our properties, we have this title text area and I could just uh, type in trend four. Um, and then um, I could hard code CY and you see this thing says here, start saying uh, trend four CY. Let me make this a little bit bigger just so we have a little bit more real estate, right? So unfortunately, when I hard code this, um, this title does not does not update. So what I want to do is make this title uh, updatable. So what I'm going to do is instead of typing it here, I'm going to click on FX. And then I'm going to use our dynamic measure dynamic title measure to to be the source of this. So so now we have a um, a, um, a formatting option window pop up and here we're going to be able to pick our uh, dynamic title measure to be the source of the dynamic title on the, on this chart. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, pick, we only have one option here for the title, so field value. And this is where the title type of the data type of the measure is important. So you could see we have a lot of different metrics here, COGS, gross margin, sales, this measures are um, return a number and I'm not even able to pick it. However, when I mouse over the dynamic title measure, we see that um, the gray out bar appears, it allows me to select it. I click on it and now that I've selected, I can click on okay. 
and uh, this will serve as the trench dynamic trend chart for my uh, for my chart and now you can see I have a dynamic title so if I click on py it'll say py if I click on cy it'll say cy so again it's very important when we create these dynamic measures that uh, we made them type text and that will be a signal to our chart that this is a, a measure that's um, that's available for being a title a dynamic title for our chart just to summarize we talked about two ways to create dynamic dynamic charts in uh, pages dynamic titles for pages and charts in power bi number one is you just drag the measure into the canvas turn it into the card or a multi-row card and uh, um, you can also add a um, text box next to it uh, to give it a little bit more um, uh, customization. However, if you would like to add a dynamic title to the chart itself, then you could click on the chart, go into the title, and then click on FX, and then pick the measure that you would like uh, to be, uh, it would return the string, the text for the dynamic title, and that's how you can wire every chart to have a dynamic title. Hope you found this video useful and please come back for the next one. Thanks. Bye.